What's up guys, Jimmy here. I know it's been a while since I made a video for you guys, so I wanted to make a video on something that I've been thinking about doing for a while. That is this Milwaukee M18 fuel chainsaw. So I've had this thing about two years. It is a fantastic chainsaw. There's a few things that you need to learn about it. Um, for one, um, I made the mistake of putting the wrong size chain on it once. The width is like the uh, 0 .043, there we go, not the 0 .05. Um, so that was one mistake I made which caused the chainsaw to cut slower and I couldn't figure out what was going on Now when I first got this chainsaw I, I was cutting with it and it was going dead pretty quickly and I was like well this thing sucks, you know, like um, This is not not what I'm used to with the Milwaukee because I've got a lot of Milwaukee tools everywhere, right? But uh, as it turns out, I was just using it incorrectly. So with these chainsaws It's not like a gas where you can bog it down and then just pull it off and get right back on the throttle If you if you bog this thing down too much, you'll overheat the battery um, and cause it to actually run dead faster, which will make you, you know, it gives the illusion that it's, it's not got a really good run time, which is not true. So when you're cutting, you'll get used to cutting with the chainsaw, knowing how to preserve the battery, and you can cut up, I'm guessing like a full tree or two before the battery goes dead, if you just, um, take your time. And when I say take your time, I don't mean cut super slow, because this, this thing will cut fast. It's, I watched a video, um, where a guy did a, a review on it, and it actually, you know, it, it was not doing very well against DeWall and Ryobi and some other things, uh, Makita, I believe. But um, where it shines is in torque. This thing has a lot of torque to cut hard wood. So the other chainsaws will bog down and go dead faster. This chainsaw is actually really good. Now, the only bad thing about owning one of these things, there's two bad things, actually, I'll say. The first one being um, the battery. Now, the battery on this thing, um, you can see I have the blower we'll talk about in a second. It is the uh, HD12 high output. The battery is about $250. Now, I know that shocks some of you guys, but let me tell you, this thing has paid for itself in gas um, time and time again, you know, because obviously you're just charging it. You don't have to run gas through it. Um, you still take some bar oil. It does drink that stuff pretty good, but um, it's paid for itself. Uh, this thing is, has been a great chainsaw, and like I said, I've had it a little under two years, and I've cut up several trees with this thing. I mean, giant trees that I've had to actually go all the way around because the, the bar wasn't long enough to go through. So it will do it. Um, you just gotta, gotta know how to run the thing. If you don't know how to run it and you're used to a gas, you'll probably run through some batteries really quick till you get used to it. Um, so also, um, we have the Milwaukee blower. Picked this thing up about eight months ago. Fantastic. I love that you know you can use it inside because there's no fumes. Um, you got the slow mode, you got the rabbit. So you can see that it picks up speed really quick, which is really cool. Um, and you get about 20 minutes of runtime on Rabbit with this thing. But uh, if you're using these tools, I'm gonna recommend, I've got one small charger over there. I'm gonna recommend that you get two chargers, or two, two batteries, as I was. Get two batteries and even a rapid charger if you can afford it and you'll be set. You could cut all day with this chainsaw. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the chains aren't super expensive. I've got a new bar on there. You can see the power care, because I've been, I've been really hard on this thing, guys. I've, it's been neglected. I keep it oiled, but it has been neglected and it, it just keeps on ticking. Um, as you can see, there's one more modification. It was the second problem that I have with these chainsaws. That's the dog spikes. The dog spikes that came with this thing were severely uh, undersized. Um, I don't know if I find them laying here. They were incredibly small. Here we go. Like, look how small these things are. These things will, pr will pretty much bite into nothing because they sit recessed back in there. Um, they're, they're only sticking out by about, we'll say... About like that, right? So you can't get a bite on a log very well with those things. So I got on eBay for ten dollars and got these dog spikes. Dog spikes took two screws out, slid them in there. I'm hoping, haven't used it yet with these dog spikes, but I'm hoping it's going to be a be a monster with those. But my neighbor, who he, he completely hates everything that's electric, he's actually really impressed with this thing. He's he's watched me using it beside of him, and um, his gas is bogging down or not starting, and you don't have that problem with this bad boy. So uh, this chainsaw, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I, I know I haven't made a lot of videos lately. If you guys want to get my opinion on anything, just comment or, uh, you know, subscribe and comment. Post below. Let me know what you guys want me to do a review on. But I'm thoroughly impressed with this chainsaw. You just got to realize what it is, okay? It's not a big gas chainsaw, so you can't take it out and do, like, you know, log work all day. That's just not what it is. But 40cc gas and below, this thing, I'm not getting a gasser over this bad boy because you don't have to worry about gas, mixing oil, all that. And this thing will cut faster than a 40cc uh, gas chainsaw, no doubt. So take care, guys. Stay happy and healthy.